Well, hello, everybody. If I'm not mistaken, it looks like we made it to Friday. Another week under the belt. I hope that everybody had a wonderful week. Excuse me. And I hope that you enjoyed the Thor's Day surprise drop. Just a little one. But Jed, I can tell you, was excited to say hello after a long hiatus wasn't intended to be a hiatus but anyway so here we are on this Friday and boy have we got some incredible news I hear Walter barking so pardon that okay what's going on we got the war going on we got this crazy Hamas terrorist who uh, released some hostages they are crazy Hamas they are savages and it was good to hear that uh, Juliana Julia yeah Juliana Margulies who I find is a great actress she used to be on the show ER was it ER that one with George Clooney what the hell was that anyway that that long show she was on there as a nurse and then she went on to be uh, the good wife which was a great a lawyer type of show that the Punisher watched but she came out and said these kids these stupid kids at Harvard and those preppy schools who are out supporting the terrorists people that go by they them and so forth would be the first to be beheaded and their heads kicked around like a soccer ball on a soccer field she said so it's good to hear that we have some common sense. Now, she said, also said, and the Punisher says too, no matter what, we respect people, you can be who you want to be, but it sure doesn't add up when you support a group that wouldn't even support you. Hamas would be the first to kill them, and women, children, look, it doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. Anyway, enough of that. So, here we are on Friday, where the Punisher has been working diligently. So anyway, we have made it to the Friday, and we have some incredible news. As you know, well first, let me talk about the rolling heads. Heads are rolling. I know that you're going to ask about the basement, but like I said, I've been a little bit busy. No worries, though, I have not forgotten. I will be showing the heads all cataloged, but I have some more work to do. It's a bit like the Dewey Decimal System. I need a big catalog with drawers that ha obviously have to be big enough to, to hold heads <laughs> and then be cataloged and be put on display. But that's coming soon. Anyway, Operation Slipknot 6.5. Ooh, it has been really, really picking up pace. And effective today, 1700 Eastern Standard Time, Operation Slipknot 6.5 becomes Operation Slipknot 7.0. Operation Sudden Impact, however, remains at 2.0, however, is aggressively moving, and that's why heads are rolling. So, rest assured, you know the Punisher's working for you. Now then, let's see. Funny. When she was asked, is the president uh, too old to be running for office? Hmm. Well, age is more than a chronological fact. Age is more than a chronological fact. Well, please break that down for me. Truth is, it's not about age. It's not about age at all. It's about mental capacity. Because there are plenty who are above the age of 80 who actually are still with it. And I'm going to be getting to one towards the end of this. Okay. So, <laughs> I got to bring him, bring him on. There, there, whoa, there we go. He is here. I just want to say that it uh, has been one wonderful week, and the Punisher 
most certainly has been working diligently. I was also very, very pleased to see Jed again after all this time. Uh, he's always a pleasure, but uh, he does work uh, hard in the winters too. Most people don't even think about that, but that's the time to fix and repair uh, things. So anyway, what we are doing is very, very intense. Okay, the work is very hard, and that's why the Punisher is working so hard for you. <laughs> Does that make any sense? It's hard, so he's working hard for you. Well, that's true. Punisher's working hard. But, guess what? Oh, it's a very somber occasion. When the Punisher's eyes drift off like this, you must take note. Read the clues. So anyway, uh, I hope, I'm glad that everybody uh, uh, enjoyed the show last night, and I hope that everybody had a wonderful week, and we are getting ready for another weekend. But we are uh, going to, uh, to leave you today with uh, some very uh, sad news. Uh, I... Uh, have had the distinct honor of of living in these United States for the majority of my life after escaping Nazis with my family and rising to the level of the Secretary of State. And I will tell you that there cannot be a crisis this week because my schedule is full. And who do you attribute that quote to? Dr. Henry Kissinger died on Wednesday at the age of 100 and a perfect example of somebody who still had a sound state of mind all the way up to 100. So we bid him farewell. What a good man. And Scrooge James White Bulger will talk to you later. Bye.